Okay, it's time to split the case on the Honda generator that I've been working on. Uh, if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you are because you can follow along in this. Um, I've created two previous videos. One showing that it's smoking and turning itself off. Uh, the second one is actually just tearing the generator down just to get to the engine. Um, so in this, like I said, in this video, we're gonna split the case. We're gonna look at why it was smoking and you know, if possibly we're going to make the repair. All right, first thing we're gonna do is drain the oil. Um, I conveniently have this table that has a hole in the middle. And uh, down below there is my oil catch. I had already taken out these bolts uh, when I disassembled everything. I was thinking they need to come out, but this is just the valve cover. Just pops off. To remove the exhaust. All right, we're gonna split the case. You'll see you got 10 millimeter bolts that go around it. So we're just gonna take them off. We should just take a rubber mallet and be able to tap this and this whole cover should come off. Should is the key word. <laughs> there you go, it's starting to come loose. Just gotta get it, start wiggling it. here on the bottom is the oil uh, switch or you know for low oil anything like that they'll shut the machine off so if you ever have to replace that on one of these you have to split the case All right, now I'm gonna remove that piston rod off the cam. I'm pushing this piston rod up just to kind of get it out of the way. Then we can take out the, the crank. Now that the crank is out, we can pull the piston back out. Kind of helps to push the valve because it's just got pressure built up in there. So there's definitely a little bit of scoring on the piston. It, it might be hard to pick that up in the camera. But you can see oil is making it past the rings. Got a heavy carbon up here. And that was what's causing it to smoke so bad. All right, next we're just gonna remove the rocker arms. 
There's just a pin here. You slide that out. This rocker arm comes off. Same with the other side. All right, next we're gonna remove the, the valve springs. Um, the valves are probably gonna drop straight out, but you can see in the, the top, there's, you know, it comes out over here. So you just push it down over a little bit, knock everything over. <laughs> and these springs are not too tight, so you can do it with your hands. Do the same thing on the intake side. Just push it down, scoot it over. And there goes the valve on that one. There are your valves, two different sizes. I'm guessing the exhaust side is probably a little bit bigger. I'd have to look up the specs. All right, and there's looking up to the top of the cylinder. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, so the one on the top in the video is the exhaust side. The one on the bottom, oops, sorry, is the intake. And you can see the exhaust side, is, it's just, it's heavily carbonated up, carbonated carbon build up up there <laughs> maybe i got soda on my mind um so that valve uh, definitely was not uh seating all the way uh you know it could be that you know it the valve was out of adjustment uh never closing all the way or just over time uh, running that way the you know it's the build up is building and then now the valve can never 100 percent close and then causing uh, the white smoke. Uh, looking at the cylinder, it looks pretty good. I mean, I can still see the cross hatch in it. Um, sorry, I'm trying to do this all two-handed looking in there. <laughs> um, that cross hatch is still there. I think the cylinder is okay. I, mean, I can definitely tell that it's uh, been ran and uh, there is some vertical marks on it, but they're not deep. They're, it's just like they're superficial. Um, so I'm almost thinking that if I can clean the top of the cylinder, get all the carbon out of there, get all the gunk off of it, uh, lap the valves, and get a new, um, let me know if I need a new piston. Um, I need to clean this up more. I mean, it's dirty from all the carbon, but I'm wondering, you know, does a new set of rings in a cleanup, does that fix this? But also you can see, uh, maybe you can't, it's hard to tell. You can see the vertical marks in the piston, which those are not supposed to be there. So actually, no, the more I think about it, it's like I would replace the piston and the rings. I think the rod is okay. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do a little research and see how much uh, this part is and um, possibly rebuild this thing.